there's a lot of trends coming out as far as channels. I think the biggest thing with some of the smart companies that we do work with is that they don't get distracted. They want to see that there's measurable results for their business to participate. Um, Google Plus is one of those that, you know, we have a lot of customers. Cadbury, um, the largest Google Plus page out there is a client, and they um, are doing a fantastic job in leading the way with what you can do with, with Google Plus. But there's still a lot of our other customers, even though that's been on the radar for quite some time and they do a lot of things with Google themselves, they still haven't quite wrapped their head around what to do with G+. So, you know, I think the biggest thing is you need to be um, cognizant of which channels matter for, again, what are you trying, what are your goals, what, do you, what are the KPIs that you want to take away from social. Um, and so the trends would be that some companies are trying to be everywhere and they're doing a very average job of being everywhere. The smart companies in social are doing a really great job of being in key places and not getting distracted by all the different crazy channels that are popping up constantly. So they don't feel like they have to rush to it. They're willing to wait and sit and watch uh, and kind of measure and learn from, from what other, other companies are doing out there. They're paying attention. Um, I think from a brand perspective, you know, again, the landscape has changed over the past four years. A lot of times agencies were choosing software tools that um, they, were, they were using. For, so let's use a CPG example. Um, you know, there's maybe there's a, a hundred different brands in a, in a company's portfolio. If all of that data is housed in different software structures, there's no way for brands to be able to see, um, is there a fan commenting on one brand page and they're also commenting on another one that's in a completely different vertical for them? Are there ways that they can, they can correlate those types of fan bases and, you know, maybe do advertising targeting to that, maybe change some promotional um, information or some special offerings based upon these these kind of cross segmentations. So I think brands who are have figured out that by bringing all of their products or portfolios into one database um, and then be able to run analysis kind of cross portfolio um, are getting much smarter insights very quickly than those who are still really scattered and have all of their information in a lot of different buckets. And so that's one thing that's definitely changing is the consolidation of brands owning their data and then giving access to their agency partners or their marketing teams versus having it scattered. Um, as far as multi-location, you know, when you've got a lot of footprints all over the world or all, even just here, let's say it's in the southeast, um, those are different unique DMAs. They're different, um, even if it's a, a quick service restaurant. There could be, Chick-fil-A is a leading example of this. You know, my daughter's school does constant things at the Chick-fil-A up the street here where it's ice cream night or they have face painting. Those are marketable things through social that can drive business to that particular location. So I think the companies that say local social is too overwhelming um, aren't looking in the right places or aren't thinking about their local store marketing extension um, correctly in social, and I think they're missing a lot of opportunities, but it's definitely changing. Um, I'm seeing more and more multi-location companies come to us and say, we know we've got to do something with this, but it's just going to take so much time. How do we do it? And the reality is with a, the proper infrastructure in place, you can corporately manage local, um, and that could be maybe somebody's 20-hour week partial uh, responsibility on the marketing team. And you can have a local presence um, without overtasking your local employees. And so looking at the right tools that are out there to help you can be a huge ad for multi-location instead of just saying it's too much. We can't do it. There's no value in it.